I've always taken the trees around me for granted. It wasn't until I saw a fallen tree and wondered if I could make something beautiful out of it that suddenly the trees around me took on new meaning, new potential. In foster care, you're, you keep the kids in, while they're going through the court systems. So we do eat at about the same time every night. I think it's something they can depend on. Well, all growing up, we always had family dinners. I mean, that's when you connect with people, is around a table eating food. I've always enjoyed making things with my hands. I don't know, it's just part of who I am. I've always done it. Got where I came from, somewhere back when I was young. I was a good man's child. Well, at the present time, there's uh, really nobody that's uh, seriously trying to keep uh, these urban trees or urban lumber out of the landfill. There are more than 130 million acres of uh, urban and community forest in the United States. We're, we're really just missing an opportunity. There are these pieces that could be used to build a stronger economy and we're not using them. People throw logs and trees away all the time in urban areas. Anywhere from three to four billion board feet of trees that could produce lumber end up in a landfill. The last remaining urban natural resource is being thrown away? No. Not going to happen. Any project that you make with your hands, you want to see go to a use that's going to last a while and it's going to mean something. We're both you know, really pleased to think that there's going to be a life beyond um, it standing in our yard and becoming some kind of functional art piece. Taking a piece of wood and making it into an object is this sort of fascinating process to conversation with the living world. There's something about redemption that is really celebratory. I'm taking a throwaway piece of wood and adding new life by recreating it. More and more, we're running into people that do want to see something good come of it, you know, use for something, not just go to waste. This is what I do for a living is take down trees, trim trees, but it, it's kind of changed from that mentality to I'm preserving the future for my kids. I get a lot of satisfaction with knowing that I take something that somebody was going to throw away and turn it into a work of art. The wood is inherently beautiful, but it also tells a story. Future antiques, that's what they have to be thought as. Any piece of furniture that has that backstory, it creates a richness in your families, in your homes. It creates a richness in your community. It encourages relationship in the family to spend that time together. I think it's important.